the club's been over the last few years, I suppose, progressively, it's just been going downhill. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose last three years we were nearly in the Premiership, we were a penalty kick away and then all of a sudden we've just been going. For the last year in particular, I suppose we got together because of the issues on the field um, with the directors and for the last year we've been, we got together as a group of fans, just concerned yeah. fans, and uh -huh. decided to do something about it. But this is like a relaunch that we're trying to undertake. Big challenge, a really big challenge, but um, we want to reconnect with the fans. We want to get into the community. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. Jim's got ideas and dream for centenary next year. Okay. Which are pretty exciting. We're at rock bottom. Mm -hmm. And I think because we've reached rock bottom, I think we could have went two ways, either up or out of, out of existence. I mm -hmm. think that's really where we're at. I think that we feel as if because we've been able to take the, the club over, we are able to rise again. And it's almost mm -hmm. like a phoenix of the flame, sort mm -hmm. of that sort of you know, that the mentality we're trying yeah. to trying yeah. to create. Um I think that trying to re engage some of the, the past glory days, so trying mm -hmm. to rekindle that some of the early nineties, sort of mid nineties stuff that yeah. was there and try to spark that actually the fans that maybe later teen level maybe in their teenage years at that time mm -hmm. are probably sort of late thirties, early forties. Yeah, now. fathers now. And, uh, yeah. Can, can yeah. they can they yeah. rekindle that with bringing their youngsters to the matches? Can they bring can they make their kids feel the way they did? The constitution is set up is really the uh, the best thing that I saw happening last year. I mean the team was going like that. But you know these kids mm -hmm. so keen and shouting come on banger. Mm -hmm. It was really good to see. So we're really building on that, you know, got a good relationship mm -hmm. with Trevor Reed and all his folk. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, we see that as the future. Good. Mm -hmm. I from my point of view, I the reason that I am enjoying it at the moment, uh, you know, when, when Nikki said that we are all fans, we are fans, but you know, it's interesting that it, we weren't a group of people that used to come to the matches and stand together and talk about football and then say, right, let's try and do something about the club. We're all from very diverse backgrounds. Um, so we're all fans. And what I've enjoyed is that, you know, I'd never met Simon until we t started talking last year. I never met Nicky. Then I met Graham two years ago. It was, Graham was on the board one time and I was sort of assisting the board. So we are a group of people who have got all the same wish that the club will do well, mm -hmm. but we've all got a different specialism that we've brought, and that's I think it's got a, a great yeah. mix. Yeah. You know that we weren't, you know, just all the same, you know, yeah. and the yeah. same, well, and important. perhaps blinkered. Yeah. You know, so I, that's what I like about it. You know, and I I worked for forty years and retired, and you know, and when you I worked for a big company for forty years and probably knew hundreds and hundreds of people, and then when you walk away from a work environment, you're sort of saying. Well, it's, it's at the end of life now, you know, because I won't see those guys anymore. So the situation now is this has just opened up a complete new relationship yeah. with a completely new group of people, uh -huh. you know, and will hopefully carry me on till my centenary. Cheers. <laughs> 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 so, I took early retirement, and for the last nearly five years I've been retired, yeah. and all of a sudden this is like, in fact, the work I'm finding is very strange. I would say so, yes, that's right. You're not going to bed in the morning. Yeah, it's good. But I think we've, we've got great hopes. Uh, and interestingly, I felt last year when the team wasn't doing well and after all the problems of the previous two years, people were still coming through that gate, yeah. which did impress me, um, that there is a wish yeah. For, for the team to do well. Oh, yeah. The last match of the season was the biggest crowd of the season mm -hmm. because it was billed as you have to win here mm -hmm. and, and people came out. So I know that there is a wish oh, yeah. uh, for the general focus of football supporter mm -hmm. to have a successful team. So we're going to have that on our side. Mm -hmm. And yet that was even based on all the bad press that they were still prepared. So mm -hmm. if we start getting good press, I'm hoping that you know, just that, that, that'll just become the norm. Yeah. What we've seen on the last day last year, every, if we had that every week from yeah. here on, this club yeah. would be rocking. Um, Hugh Sinclair is probably the most motivational speaker that you'll come across. Okay. Like, yeah. If you can imagine a, a, like a school principal and, and, and sort of stick him in steroids, and yeah. not yeah. 10 by 10, yeah. he, he just cultivates a, an audience and then just gets you. We held an open meeting, um, so basically our first meeting as a, as a group, and obviously Hugh was the centre part of that. And he stood up and talked for 10 minutes, 
and you can see people like you know ready to fill in their bits and fill up their yeah. stuff like yeah. we're gonna we're gonna go to the battle cool. here for yeah. everybody you know yeah. it doesn't matter you're 25 stone sitting in the corner yeah. I, I still feel like it's the center forward for you yeah. um yeah. and i think that having that sort of having that leadership from the pitch perspective takes the burden off the board so actually yeah. none of us are in for PR, we're not in it for we're actually here to for the good of the club. Yeah. The figurehead of the club is the manager. Okay. That's who we want the figurehead of this football club to be. And He's the leader and the players and mm-hmm. you'll come come along with that. Uh-huh. So actually what we are trying to do is just try to do all the all the groundwork, yeah. giving the support we can to Hugh and then the players, making sure he can have yeah. the right personnel on the pitch. And I think through that it then will build the momentum and then take us into okay. further. So the longer term plan is certainly Premiership, but uh-huh. Balmain League, first of all, we, if we can win that, yeah. we then win the playoff. What have we got to do? Two things we've never done before. Win a league and win a playoff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. once we do True. that, yeah. then we're broken that yeah. Mm, yeah. The three ethos that we've had is, is um, the community-based club mm-hmm. having uh, sort of aspiration to be in the Premiership in five years mm-hmm. and open and transparent. Just mm-hmm. telling people.